Hi, this is the new film. It's um, the Skull series Deadheads 1, 2, 3. Uh, each set contains two different war hat skulls. So, this is the first set, which is with uh, two skulls from the Nam Vietnam conflict. Uh, first is the uh, Born to Kill skull, and the second would be like a skull with a, a chopper helmet. So I'm using them um, like in all my videos. I'm using an opaque black and an opaque white. Um, first one was white, now the second one was black. Now it's again with a black but with less opacity so that you actually get a grey tone. So if you like you can naturally you can add the colors to the helmet or the bones of the, the skull. But I'm just doing like a black and white picture. So that's um, it's finally the opaque white again for the highlight white in the picture. So it's white, black, grey and white again. So you get your perfect skull in two minutes, I think. So we're doing now the second. Uh, each set contains also a cover-up stencil so that you can cover the picture to do the background. So this is a park white again, and now the opaque black for the picture. Just paint everything black. And now the same color, less opacity. We're doing a grey. So finally the opaque white again all the highlights in the picture. If you put on the stencils, always look for two points, opposite points uh, in the stencil to, to make it uh, in the right place. So yeah, look for the teeth and for the tip of the bullets. So if these two opposite points fit, the whole stencil should fit into the picture. And even if the stencil, as it's now, it's dirty, if you remember always the points where to find your marker points in the picture, you can also work with a, a totally used stencil, so you don't have to clean it after every step. So now I'm using transparent uh, yellow and red for the glow of the eyes. Now I'm covering both skulls. And uh, we're doing the background with um, transparent blue and green.
for that I also with uh, also use the park wide for doing some freehand flames shades. Don't need to be too accurate. It's just that the background around the skulls is a little bit lighter, so that the shade shapes pop out a little bit more. As you can see, the advantage of transparent colors is that you can actually mix the color directly on the surface, so that you get like green and blue and the mixture of the, of those colors on the surface. So as you can see now, you have like. Perfect skulls. And uh, if you like this, there are two other films. And uh, hope you enjoy. Bye.